The phone that allegedly has it all has just arrived. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing of the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. But before we get started, I'd like to thank our friends at Negri Electronics for lending us the Z Ultra for the review period. And if you'd like, you can check out their site for your own Z Ultra or other devices and accessories. Without further ado, let's get this baby unboxed. So back in June, Sony announced a new phone, the Z Ultra, basically a much larger version of the Xperia Z and the, the Z Ultra, but it's more like the Z. It's got the, the body of the Xperia Z, but it is much larger. This thing has a 6.4 inch display at 1080p, that's uh, 344 pixels per inch. So it's really high density for a large display. And it's got some pretty decent specs across the board. Not decent, it has great specifications across the board. It has a 2.2 gigahertz quad-core crate CPU. So that's a crate 400, which means this thing has a Snapdragon 800 CPU or chipset in it. And that's impressive. It's one of the first phones with a Snapdragon 800 in it. Um, it also has IP55 and IP58 dust proofing and water resistance, an eight megapixel camera, and 16 gigabytes with two gigabytes of RAM. So this device is uh, basically a heavyweight. Um, without further ado, let's see what's inside the box and get this baby out of it. Of course, I've got my, my unboxing tool, which everybody always thinks I'm going to cut myself with <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, but it is still in the plastic, so this is the first time we've uh, even touched this box. So if we take this off... <laughs> That is massive. <laughs> now, I, I unboxed and I reviewed the, uh, the Galaxy Mega 6.3 um, a few weeks back, and it was big, but this thing, it just feels big. It feels bigger, I guess I should say, but we should sit that to the side and see what else is inside the box. So it'll flap. You've got your, your paper here, your uh, startup guide and everything. I can't even get that out of there, so I'm not going to worry about it. A uh, UK power adapter. And we've got micro USB cord and headphones with extra tips. So yay, nice stuff in the box, headphones and whatnot, which is a rarity these days. But that's all there is. It's uh, nothing too special inside the box. Let's sit that to the side and take a look at this thing. Because that that is a spectacle. This thing is enormous. I mean, I've got fairly big, chunky hands, as people say. And this thing makes my hands look tiny. It dwarfs my hands, which is hilarious. But let's get this little uh, plastic wrapper off. We've still got some plastic to take off here, too. Man, it's, it, it's really weird because it has uh, a true 16-9 aspect ratio. I don't know about the, the dimensions of the display or anything, but it's really got that, that widescreen ratio. It looks like a giant candy bar. That's exactly what it looks like, a giant... Hershey's Kiss Bar, or not Kiss, but a Hershey's Chocolate Bar. So that's, that's what it kind of looks and feels like in the hand. But, uh, let's take this plastic off. Yeah, not a lot of sound from that, so I won't get it too close to the mic. Um, this uh, has a few information instructions on how to insert and charge things. But as you can see, it's got a very similar design to the Xperia Z. Which is, which is a good thing, we liked that, but it doesn't have the shiny plastic on the inside, which is also good because the Xperia Z has, um, it was really bad for fingerprints around the edges. But uh, on the back, we've also got the same, the glass on the front on the glass, so it's a very minimal design. Um, here is your micro SD card slot, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, you've got your power button and uh, volume rocker here. It has a lanyard hole with your speaker to the bottom edge. And on the left side here, what is this? I'm not quite sure what that is. It just seems like a, a seam. I don't know what the seam's for. Um, these are charging prongs for maybe a dock. And this is your charging port right here on the top. On the back, we've got the eight megapixel camera and that's your NFC contact logo there. So that's where your NFC chip is when you want to share something. So this is like sharing something with a candy bar. It's kind of funny. But um, this is your 6.4 inch display. It takes up the vast majority of the front and there's very little bezel on the sides. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. I'm gonna turn the display on so we can uh, 
get a real feel for how big this thing is and how big the display is. But uh, there's very minimal bezel on the sides and actually not too much bezel on the top and bottoms, but I think on a device this big, you might need something a little less thick on the top and bottom because this is this is huge. This is, uh, it almost feels very similar to the Nexus 7 in, in size, which is kind of crazy. I mean, I know the Nexus 7 is bigger, but this kind of feels very similar in size. And uh, let's get a bright picture up here, maybe a white background. There we go. So now you can see that there's not a whole lot of bezel here on the sides. It's very minimal and it's it's giant. So this has been an unboxing of the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. Stay tuned for more videos and content over the next week, including comparisons, a full review, and who knows what else. So stay tuned. I'm Taylor Martin. This is Pocket Now, and I'll see you later.